Y'all, uh, I'm so happy to be able to share this recipe with y'all today. Uh, I made Grand Girls fresh apple cake from Georgia, oh gosh, a couple of weeks ago. And while I was talking about that, I was talking about the fig cake uh, that I love to make. So people were writing in, make that fig cake, make that fig, ca fig cake. So I am so happy to share the recipe with you. And uh, in all of my books, I never had a fig cake recipe, but my dear brother did. He had a fig cake. And he mentions how much he and I love this fig cake. So I'm so happy to, to share this recipe with y'all. It's hard for me to believe, but in August, my precious Bubba will be gone one year on August the 15th, and I can't hardly believe it. Uh, in some ways, it seems like yesterday because he stays so close in my mind, in my heart, you know, like standing right next to me. And, uh, you know, my brother, he had some hard knocks uh, when we had to bury our daddy when he was 12 years old and he was 16 when we had to bury our mother. And uh, that was a terrible blow for this precious little boy. And uh, I just hurt so bad for him. And uh, I hope he's enjoying the peace that he's getting right now. But this, this is um, in memory of my brother, Bubba Hires. And uh, I loved eating with Bubba because, you know, some people just eat to live. <laughs> where we kind of live to eat. I mean, we really enjoyed a meal together. And uh, this is one of our favorite cakes. So here we go. Uh, Bubba tells us to sift together two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and uh, one and a half cups of sugar. Now he says to sift but I'll show you the way I kind of sift. <laughs> to me, this works just as well as, as sifting. So see, I just make sure all those dry ingredients are all mixed up. And now we're gonna start with our eggs. We've got three eggs that are going in there. And we're gonna get that going. This really is an easy cake to make, y'all. Uh, it's, it's, um, let's see, it's kinda like a carrot cake where you, you almost don't even have to have a mixer. All right, now I'm gonna slowly start adding one cup of buttermilk. There we go, one cup of buttermilk, and I don't care what kind of cake you're making, y'all, buttermilk just really, to me, makes the cake. If it calls for buttermilk, you know it's gonna be a dead gum good cake. All right, now I'm gonna add, now Bubba, Bubba said to use one cup of all, but I'm gonna use just a little bit more than that. I'm probably gonna use right at a cup and a half of all. Cause seems like the last time I made it, that's how much I used. So I'm gonna stick with that. All right, now I'm gonna add uh, my vanilla flavoring and my butter. My, it, it's a butter flavored extract. 
So I'm gonna do like a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, my grandmother hires used to make a, a cake and I don't know if I've ever shared the recipe with y'all. What was it? It was, uh, it was a butter, it was a butter and the flavoring was orange. Oh, I'll, I'll have to think on that. <laughs> when I'm not thinking about anything else and I'll see if I can't find the recipe somewhere. Of course, it'll help if I can remember the name of it. Butter. I know it had the word butter in it. All right. That looks nice and well incorporated. All right, now, the recipe calls for a cup and, uh, what did we three, call? A cup and three quarters. A cup and three quarters of fig preserves. And uh, these fig preserves came off of our tree here. And uh, I'm the only one here that really likes fig preserves. So they last a long time when I make a couple of batches. But you know what? <laughs> we didn't hardly get any. We didn't get, how many did we get, Eddie? We got to eat one or two of them. Yes, uh, <laughs> the squirrels. Because the squirrels, the squirrels like figs. They like, they like a bite. Uh-huh, the they like one bite and then they want to throw it away. And they're doing the same thing with the pear tree. I hope we can get some pears. Oh, but, mm, on a hot biscuit. Woo, do you like fig preserves, great great? Oh my gosh, mine too. All right, so I'm gonna just mix those up with a mixer and hoping that'll break those figs down some. Because when I make fig preserves, y'all, I don't mash them. I, uh, I leave them whole, cause I, and I leave the stem on because I like to be able to pick it up by the stem and uh, eat it along with my toast. Another thing that Michael and I um, argue about it's kind of like our shrimp, isn't it, Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> Michael wants tails off. I want tails on. <laughs> Big preserves, he wants the stem off. I want it on. Although he does, I don't care what he wants because he really doesn't need them enough to. <laughs> so I do them the way I like them. Ooh, honey child, this is going to be so good. All right, now I'm gonna add a cup of pecans. And I'm gonna bake this in a tube pan, y'all. Uh, I'm not gonna bake it in my bunt pan because I want this cake to have plenty of room because while this is baking, we are gonna be making a buttermilk topping, a butter buttermilk topping and we're gonna pour it all over this hot cake as soon as it comes out of the oven. So I want the cake to have plenty of room to grow and then hold our topping too. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna spray my pan with, um, you know, back in the day, I used to uh, use a, a solid shortening and then dust it with flour. But today they have come up with a another convenience product and it has the flour and the shortening in it. So I'm going to spray it good with that. I don't like breathing it. All right, I think I got it good, Eddie. All right, so I've got our oven preheating at 325, y'all. <laughs> Look at those big old chunks of fig. Yes. And this rises up pretty high, doesn't it? It rises up some, yeah, because 
Remember we put the baking soda in it. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna help it rise. Mm. There we go. See, wasn't that easy? We really could have made this cake without even using a mixer, but for some reason it just makes me feel better to, you know, have that mixer. So in the oven, 45 minutes or until the cake pulls away from the pan. Now, while that's baking, we can go ahead and make the, the butter buttermilk chopping that we are gonna pour over that hot cake. Okay, friends, the cake, the uh, it's fixing to go off. The timer's fixing to go off. So we're gonna put together the topping that we're gonna pour over it real quick. And that's gonna be one stick of butter. <laughs> I want to show y'all something. <laughs> this is what I've had to resort to. Dissemble it to try to see. <laughs> okay. That the bottom of that pan's black, so it's hard to see in there. Alright, we're gonna add, I think it was uh a cup and a half of sugar. Let's see. Three fourths of a cup of sugar, a half a cup of buttermilk. I mean, this is, uh, oh, what'd I tell you? I knew it was fixing to go off. Let's see what it looks like. It looks beautiful. Eddie, can you come over here and get a shot? Look at that, y'all. Look at that beautiful cake. Now I'm gonna take a knife and I'm just gonna go around the edge cause this topping that I'm gonna put on it, I want it to, you know, be able to get all in there. All right, we're gonna add one tablespoon <laughs> of white Cairo syrup. And if I'd have taken the time to spray that teaspoon, it would have just rolled right out of there. Like melted butter. All right, and then half a teaspoon of soda. So we're gonna bring this to a ball, y'all. And then we're gonna just pour it directly onto our hot cake. Now, um, Bubba's recipe didn't call for any kind of spice, but you know, if you like the taste of like uh, a carrot cake or something like that with a cinnamon, you could always add like cinnamon and cloves to this and uh, just give you a, a, another twist of flavor. All right. So that won't take but a minute. I think we have to cook it. Let's see how long did he tell us? Boil it for like three minutes. So this cake is beautiful. Isn't it, Eddie? Yes. <laughs> yes, and I remember it being very moist. Oh, it's so moist just collapses in your mouth. You know, um, Bubba was, uh, he was really, you know, I wore a couple of different hats with Bubba and Bubba wore a couple of different hats with me. Um, I had to finish, I had to try to start, I had to try to finish what mama and daddy had started because I was seven years older than Bubba. So when our mother died, Bubba was 16. So, uh, you know, I, I wore a mother hat and a sister hat and a friend hat, uh, but I felt very protective of Bubba. Uh, he was as close to my child as it could be without him being my child. So, um, I mean, he's constantly there. 
you know, in my head. And I miss him so bad. I'm actually the only one left from my immediate family. Uh, my mother, my daddy, my brother. And it just seems so strange to say that I don't have a brother. I don't have a brother anymore. And it just makes me real sad. And then it makes me very happy thinking about all the good food that we shared over the years. I remember <laughs> Mom and Daddy, when we'd have steak, y'all, Mama would buy the sirloin steak with the bone in it. And, you know, it'd give us four servings, sometimes five. And uh, Bubba and I would fight over that bone. We were both bone gnawers. <laughs> and poor little thing. In fact, I've got a picture, Eddie of me sitting there. I had my bonnet on because my hair was rolled and Bubba was sitting there so happy he was gnawing a bone. And I was looking at him like, <laughs> like a sister would. <laughs> oh, but I thought he was disgusting wanting to gnaw those bones. Although I, lots of times I won the fight because I liked a good bone too. <laughs> Okay, look at that, Eddie. Mm. Gosh, that got really thick. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, you gonna put your finger on it, Eddie? I'll wait <laughs> for the cake. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, this is good. And I could pull me up a cup of this stuff, y'all, and drink it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm just going to pour that all over that cake. You know what? I think... I think I might just do that, Eddie. <laughs> Poke some holes in it. And let it go down in there. Don't you think that'd be good? <laughs> I think we did that with the with the apple cake. And oh yeah. Any cake that I bake that has like a glaze on it, I'll poke it to so it can go down in there. Mm -mm. Now we're gonna, we can't take the cake out until it absorbs that wonderful buttermilk glaze. Makes me suck my teeth. Oh my gracious. Mm. So I'm going to stand up here and I'm going to kind of work this in until it's all gone into the cake and then I'll flip it over and show y'all what it looks like and how easy it comes out. John, my grandson, is wanting to know if, if I was on what? YouTube or Facebook. YouTube or Facebook. Both. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of both. <laughs> All right, so y'all can see the cake is still, you know, very hot, but almost all of the juice has all of that glaze. Look at that. Wow. Wow, doesn't it look delicious? All right, so this is how we're gonna get that cake out. And this is when That's I- That's a cool way. Isn't that a cool way? And this is kind of when I start praying to the cake gods. It's so heavy, John. <gasps> No, it was so heavy. No. <laughs> it was so heavy, Guinea couldn't hold it. Looks so yummy. Well, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I want to cry. I want to cry, 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 cry. So now this is real y'all. All right, I'm That'll be my piece. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so moist. 
And so yummy. And so yummy, but I'm so sad, y'all. Because, oh, excuse Look me. Like pound cake, just Because I have never had this happen, ever. All right, so I'm going to try to... <laughs> you know, oh, it's so hot. Wow. I really rushed this, John. Yeah. You know, trying to. Um, why why um, does this pan have the um, little handles on it like that? I don't know. I, I guess, guess so I can grip it. <laughs> it may have, um, if it, if you didn't have, if it was flat, it may have. I really rushed this, y'all. It should have actually cooled a little bit more. But I was trying to quickly show y'all what it looked like. <laughs> and I hope y'all will look better. <laughs> mm. But you know what? It will eat like a champ. Which teeth do you want? <laughs> Which teeth do you pick? John's wanting to uh, play Legos <laughs> with Eddie. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Look at this beautiful cake, y'all. Hey! Mm. I'm doing that. Ah, ah, ah. Yay! Look at that! <laughs> That's just what I feel like, John. It looks like this 666 on Roblox. Uh huh. That's I, how creepy it I is. feel like 666 jumped on my cake, too. <laughs> mm. yeah, that's why I was typing in this in the Roblox. Mmm. Damn it. <laughs> so look at how pretty that cake is. <laughs> Don't cut it. This looks yummy. That was unbelievable how heavy, Eddie, that cake pan was. And you know, this cake pan, it's it's not it's level. Like yeah, pounds. I think if it was level and if you were it was able to level, get it right on yes. the... Yes. Hey, it is, it's like, it's not even a pound. It's not even a pound. Oh, All right, here. Up. You want to taste this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look. Oh. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> he said, that does taste good. Huh? That does taste good. Doesn't it taste good? <laughs> and you know what? I can't even move it because it's so hot. I can't even move it to get it in the center of the pan, so. <laughs> That's very appropriate sounds, John, that you're making. Okay. So anyway, if you decide to make this, I would um, let it cool a good bit longer, but I was anxious to show y'all. <laughs> Love and best dishes, y'all. <laughs> I just had to share with y'all a taste test that Eddie is doing on this beautiful cake. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how that looks. I mean, it tastes absolutely wonderful. Isn't I mean, it wonderful? Yeah. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.